Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today we work on the Canadian Computer Competition Test uh, Year 2018 uh, Junior Problems, Problem J2, Occupied Parking. Uh, this time we will work on it in Java. Uh, first, let's read the problem text. If you have not read it, you can pause here to read it. Okay. Now we need to analyze the problem to get what we need for the program. Uh, so here we know that in the input specification, it says the first line is a number between 1 and 100. The second and the third lines are the occupy information for yesterday and today. Both are n characters. And if the character is a C, that means the parking lot was occupied. If it's a dot, means it was empty. Now let's uh, uh, put the information into the three faces in the program. The first face is the input. We know there is a number, and uh, uh, that's and there is uh, yesterday's information. And today's information, and uh, this uh, number we can make it as an uh, integer, and this yesterday's uh, occupy information that should be a, a character array, and the same for today's information, and uh, then, and then the data process. So we need to go through uh, yesterday's information and the today's information, and then compare compare them. Uh, one character by another, if it's uh, if it's C, if they both. If they both are say, then we need to uh, increase the counter. So we need a counter to track. After we go through the two arrays, we can do the output. And the output is uh, the counter we tracked, which means the, the number of parking lots which were uh, occupied both yesterday and today. And now let's see how we code. Uh, so we need to uh, declare variables first. And we need a number. That's the number of parking lots. And we need a counter to track the, the occupied parking lots. Initialize it to 0. And then we need uh, character arrays, we need two of them. The character array in Java, we can use a string for it. So string y, and this is for uh, yesterday's information. String t, this is for today's information. Now the declaration is here. And now we we should uh, do we should do the input, and we use a scanner class. We use a scanner class uh, on the system input stream, and then okay. So we need to import this class. And then we do the read of the input. So first, the first line is the, nu the number. And uh, in that next line, we read the first line. But this next line returns a string to us. We need to convert it integer, integer the parse int. We need to convert it to a number. 
and then so this is the first line this is the number of parking lots and then we can we need to read the uh, yesterday's information and today's information uh, so um, yesterday's information next line today's information next line and now we have all the input and now we do the data process and in the process we need to go through the um, both arrays and the check uh, each character so here we need a loop and this this uh, integer i is the index to go through the arrays and it should be no bigger than the the length of the array. There is one more dot here. And now we need to compare the characters and get the character of uh, yesterday's information. If it equals to uh, today's information. And another condition is that it needs to be C, not dot. So and now we know that this is uh, this parking lot was occupied uh, both both yesterday and today, and we need to increase the counter here. Okay, so after we go through. Uh, all the characters in the arrays, we need to print out the value of the counter. Okay, and now we finish the code for this program, and we need to test it now. Um, in the pro from the problem text, we have the sample input. We have two sets of samples. Let's try the first sample first. And the number of parking lots is five, and we have the occupy information. And the output should be one. And now let's run the program. And this is uh, the input console. Here we give the number five. And we give the information cc dot c for yesterday's and today is uh, dot cc dot dot and we sh uh, from just checking the two arrays we know that only the parking lot two that uh, the information is seen in both arrays so we should get one as output press enter here and we got one. So we know our program is running correctly for the first uh, sample. And now we try the second one. Second one is uh, seven parking lots. Let's run the program again. Seven, and the, for the first day is uh, uh, four. So seven C here. Yeah, and for today is a C dot C dot C dot C. Uh, you can see the output should be 4. Press enter and we got 4. So here we know that our program is working as uh, expected. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions.